Hello everyone and peace of Christ to all of you. I did search in Google just a second ago trying to find a website to tell us what is Islam. And right away I found a Christian website in the top of the search engine of Google which is supposedly great. I mean we did not even get a Muslim website we got a Christian website. But guess what? Most of the Christian websites who pro pro provide information about Islam for you they are full of garbage. And I will give you an example, as this is the first one appear in front of us, I click in it to see what this is, website is, Global Ministries. Okay, so is that a Christian website? I'm not sure. Let us see. Basic introduction prepared by Middle East and Europe office. Uh -huh. Middle East and Europe office, sound interesting. Then they say to you in the belief Islam regarded as one of the three central Abrahamic faith. Is that true? Islam have nothing to do with the Abrahamic faith. This is the biggest deception ever you can hear. Any Christian who says such a thing to you is a liar. And the answer is very simple. You know, if we have the same God of Abraham, well, we have the same nature of God. The God of Islam is not a spirit and he has no spirit. So how, this is the Abrahamic faith. This is the God of Abraham. Isn't it from the beginning in, in the Bible it says, God is spirit, God and his spirit. Is that what the Abrahamic faith believe? So don't take even information about Islam from those stupid website. Those Christians, who make such a false information, they will be judged in the judgment day for the crimes they are committing against God, for they are deceiving your children. Your child will go there, he will think he is reading a Christian website. And they say to you, Muslims are those who submit to, to God. Well, that's a lie. Muslims, they don't submit their will to God. They have no will. Muslims don't believe in will. They believe in Al-Qadr, destiny. This is what happened when you take information from a bunch of idiots, yet they claim to be Christians. I'm not going to read the rest because it's stupid, it's dummy, it is disgusting. So now, what is Islam? First of all, Islam does not mean submission, as we hear even from Christians who left Islam. Oh, sorry. I mean, they used to be Muslims, and now they are Christian. They say to you, Islam means submission. That is the biggest mistake ever anyone can say. Islam does not mean submission. If you go in the Quran, you will find the answer. Islam means surrender. And there's a huge difference between Submit, because submit you can do that willingly. Surrender is an is an act of war. When you are in war, somebody put a knife in your neck, say surrender or else that is surrender. We are talking about. Chapter forty eight. Verse number 16, Muhammad giving a warning to the Arab, saying to them, become a Muslim or die. Here the translation saying sub submit, that's a false translation. Translating the word yuslimun, yuslimun does not mean submission, surrender. As you see, it's a war. I mean, how, how they will submit by forcing them? This is not submission. This is surrender, correct? I mean, the verse is so clear. He's saying to them, you will be invited for people of fight, of, of mighty war. He's threatening them. We will slaughter you. So either you, you surrender and obey Allah or we kill you. And then, so how this is, can be submit? I mean, it's, uh, just use little brain we have. Huh? We will find that this is going to be submit. Right? It's a threat. Convert or die. If we change the translator, Go to the from Muslim tra Muhammad Bikhtar. Look what happened. Muhammad Bikhtar, he said the truth. Surrender. 
Five then enter the surrender, which means convert to Islam or die. That is Islam. So the biggest false information we receive when people they say to us Islam means peace. As you see, the word Aslim or Muslim or Muslim mean to surrender. And the funny, Muhammad, because he forced people to convert to Islam, after he forced them, those people, they say, uh, we are, we are, okay, now we are Muslims. And we believe. Muhammad, he said to them, <laughs> don't say that. You are not, a, you know, you are just a Muslim. You are not a believer. And this is showing you the filthy nature of this cult. That this is a cult where you believe is not important, your surrender is important. Chapter 49, verse number 14 says the following. Here the translation again used the word submitted. Translating the word, aslamna. No, it's not submitted. Change the translator, let us see if that will change. Okay, this is a translation of who? You see that the funny, the same guy, Biktar, he translated here, submit. You see the stupid? Like in the other verse, he translated the same word as surrender. Here he translated the word as submit. What a fraud. We change the translator, Muhammad Hilal and Khan. Look, the Bedouin say, we believe. Say you believe not, but you only say we are Muslims. You see surrender here is a translation for the word aslamna. Walakin qulu aslamna. But say we are Muslims, which means surrender. Okay, hold on. How those people they are saying we are Muslims, but he is saying to them, faith never enter your heart. The better ones say we believe. Say you believe not. Uh -huh. Yeah, they believe not because we showed you the verse before it. The verse before it he was threatening them to kill them, surrender or die. And now they surrender. So he's saying to them, don't fool me with your garbage. Don't say to me we believe. You don't believe. You surrender. So the biggest lie we hear, even from, from the churches, because those priests are a bunch of idiots. I don't want to use the word donkeys when I speak about a priest, but some priests are worse than donkeys, like Muhammad. Because you should not open your mouth unless you know what you are talking about. How in the world, in the year 2020, a priest who have a phone, smartphone, computer, blah, 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 he can search dictionary, he can blah, 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 and yet he give you false information. Actually, those priests are more dangerous than a Muslim, he joined ISIS. For this guy, he will be trustworthy for you. He can enter your house and he can corrupt your mind and he can fool you. So the first corruption will say to you, Muhammad is Abrahamic. So what the problem if Muhammad is Abrahamic? <laughs> if, our, if, we, if we believe that Muhammad is Abrahamic, so what is the problem then? You know what I mean? That is silly. If Muhammad is Abrahamic, we should have the same heaven of Abraham. Do the heaven of Abraham have 80,000 little boys they will not bleed? And women they have wearing, wearing no clothes, 70 layers of her clothes, but you can see through? This is Abrahamic. Some priests these days are politically correct which means they share nothing of the truth. Be aware of those people. So the first lie they say to us that Islam is Abrahamic and Islam means peace. When Islam means kill and surrender or die. In the Quran, chapter 9, verse number 29, the Quran order the Muslims to kill the Christians unless they pay.
in case you do not know, the practice and the word of mafia, which is practiced in Sicily, as a territory in Italy for a long time, happened and learned and practiced after the Islamic occupation for, Islam, for territories in Europe. When the Muslims they went to Europe, they practiced chapter 9, verse number 29 on the Christians, which means you have to pay us protection money or you die. Anyone who don't believe in Allah, you have to fight him and kill him. The word here, fight, is not fight by lips and stick, it's fight by the sword. The word coming from the word, which means go and kill. Go and kill. Who? Kill those who don't believe in Allah. Nor the last day. Nor what is forbidden by by Allah and His Messenger, which means Islam. From those and those who don't acknowledge the truth of truth. Anyone don't acknowledge Islam, kill him. Specifically here, among the people of the scriptures, the Jews and the Christians, unless they pay money to live. Islam is a gang system. Islam is a gang system. The mafia, they come to your store, says pay or die. And the funny Muslim, they will say to you, oh, you pay because we are protecting you. Protecting us from who? From us. <laughs> they come to your land and they occupy your land and they take your churches and they make Ayah Sophia a mosque and then they force you to be a jizya and then they have to humiliate you. Not only you pay with willingness and submission and feel some, some, the, the, subdued. You have to be humiliated. Protect you from us. Yet you will see a bunch of a scumbag who call themselves a priest say Islam means peace. Those priests who say such a statement, they are the enemy of Jesus. They are the devil inside the church. You can go right now and read the interpretation for this verse in every Islamic scholar interpretation. Ibn Kathir, whatever, even they say that the Prophet he ordered his followers not to respect the Christian. And if you see a Christian in the street, force him to walk in the sewage. To walk where? In the sewage. Not only they cannot respect you, not only you have to pay them to live, you cannot walk in the same street with the, with the Muslims because you are not equal. Islam is peace, but Christians in the Middle East under Islam, they've been forced to walk in the sewage. A Christian in the Middle East, he cannot even ride a donkey and his face is facing the front of the road. He has to face the butt of the donkey. Actually, there's a video about it in YouTube, explaining how the Caliphate, they practiced that and how that was very successful to force many to convert to Islam because we want to live like this. He said in the video, your kid will ask you that, why your face is facing the butt of the donkey? But you will say to him, then you convert to Islam, you are humiliated. Somebody saying Islam in a few minutes and saying in five hours. No, I will not take five hours. We are almost done. As you see, Islam is nothing but an evil cult after money and gang. And it's a belief to subdue others, control others, take their life or their property for the benefit of others. So if you don't join the gang of Muhammad, you are the others. Muhammad, he said, I've been ordered to fight all mankind, to kill all mankind, unless they pay me, they surrender to me, and then and only them, their blood and their property is protected from me. And all those are very authentic and every Muslim he agree with it. If this is, does not describe Islam for you, so what is then? This is Muhammad himself speaking. They will say to you, ISIS is not Islam. This is ISIS. Muhammad is the founder of ISIS. 
Muhammad, he said, I've been victorious by terror from a distance of one month journey. You can imagine how big terrorist he is in his time. A month journey, actually, there's videos on YouTube too, explain how the kuffar, they were afraid from Muhammad from a distance of one month journey. You know, you know why? Why they're afraid? Because Muhammad is peaceful, and Islam means peace. Because Islam is peaceful, you are afraid from a month journey. Hmm? I've been held by terror in the heart of the enemy. Do you see it? By what? By terror. They say to you the terrorists only, they are those that don't present Islam. Terrorists, they don't present Islam. Or look like Muhammad don't present Islam too. How many of you heard, maybe in your churches too, not only in TV, that terrorist does not present, present Islam? So who is this guy talking here? I was victorious by Ari, by terror, and frightened my enemy for a distance of one month journey. You see how peaceful he is? He's like Santa Claus. Everybody, when he see that Santa Claus is coming, everybody is happy. From a, from a distance of one month journey. And the Quran not only ordered the Muslims to kill us, but even to torture us. And Muhammad, he tortured many. As an example, he cut a woman to pieces when she was alive. She is over the age of 80. She, he tied her legs to do different camels, and he split her alive. And then he raped her, her, her daughter. Islam even ordered Muslims, the true Muslims, when you kill them, not only you kill them, you have to cut their fingertips. Not only you cut their neck, you enjoy torture and enjoy torture even after death. I cast terror in the heart of those who disbelieve, who, the disbeliever. So strike over them, over their neck, and submit over their finger their toes. What? Why you want to cut their fingers? Torture. I don't want to make it long, just a few more points. Quran teach you to beat your wife, which is a great deal for me, for this is a filthy religion, teaching you to be violent against the first one, the first person you should you know, love and respect. How in the world we can be better men by beating our women? And the Muslim, they try to say to you, oh, we beat her lightly. You coward. The Hadith says that a man, he did beat his wife until her skin became a greener than her clothes. And Muhammad, he sided with the man who did beat the wife until he made her clothes a greener. My friend, MB, I see it. Thank you, my friend. You see, a greener. He made her skin, look, her skin is a greener. And Aisha, she said, I never saw a suffering woman. I have not seen, Aisha said, I have not seen any woman suffering as much as a believing woman. We have a brother here. He insists he want me to show you a hadith where Muhammad, he speak about, he came with the sword. My friend, we knew, we, we get the point. We showed already what kind of cult teaching you to beat your wife and how that will fix my family. Islam teach you that women are not equal to men, not even in the witnessing, because women are stupid, according to Islam. Muhammad even, he said that women, they will go to hell because of two reasons. Number one, they are stupid. They have half a brain. Number two, they have their period. And here showing us that the one who made this statement, he is the one, he have a bleeding in his head. Yes, the women, they have a period, but that will not make them bad, you idiot. But Muhammad, he claimed, just because you are a woman, automatically you are going to go to hell. And he said to them, the solution is clear. Give me your earring. Give me your money. And then you can go to heaven. 
Can you believe it? Can you believe it? He said you have a deficiency in your brain, in your intelligence. In what? Deficiency in your intelligence. How in the world a woman she can accept to follow such a garbage? Today we have women, they are scientists, teachers, doctors, engineers, lawyers, even your mother, even if she have no education, how dare you to say you have deficient in your intelligence? And when they ask him why we would go to hell, he said, okay, don't you know? Don't you know that you have deficiency in the religion? And this is why the Quran says that women are not equal to men in witnessing. A woman, she said to him, what's wrong with our common sense? Muhammad, the genius, the prophet of Islam, the first terrorist, he said, answering her, after she said, what's wrong with our common sense and our religion? He said, hey, 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 hey. your lack of common sense can be well judged in the fact of the evidence that two women are equal to one man. You see the stupid? He is the one who made a book called Quran saying that women they cannot be witness equal to men because they are stupid and now he is proving to her that she is a stupid from what verse he made <laughs> i take a reference from a book i wrote <laughs> and then he says and the lack of your you know and, and 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 that is the proof of the lack of your common sense you stupid how in the world a woman she can be part of this garbage shame on you Actually, if you are a Muslim woman and you agree with this, Muhammad then he's right. You have a lack of common sense. Any woman she agree with this, she have a lack of common sense and she agree that she is a stupid. If you ask me, I believe this is garbage, but it's true. There's people they have a lack of common sense, but this is, can be men and women. And that's why you cannot be a person who have a common sense and logic and little brain and you join Islam or you became a Muslim or you are born as a Muslim and you stay as a Muslim. And then he said, and you spend some nights and days which you don't offer prayer. Why? Because you have ministration. I mean, do you see the common sense? They will go to hell. They are not equal to the man because they have ministration. <laughs> deficiency in your religion is menstruation you idiot the menstruation is something happened between the legs what does it have to do with faith you donkey since when menstruation will make the women a bad person I mean is it God who made her with menstruation is that her fault is that a crime she committed? Can she stop it? When I say stupidity is amazing, I have a reason. And yes, stupidity is amazing. The funny, he is the one speaking about women, they have half a brain. But by saying what he said, they proven to us that he have no brain at all. If I want to account for you more and more things about Islam, what will make our videos for hours. But as we said, we try to make it in a few minutes. I don't know how many we are speaking until now. I'm going to stop here so you guys can download it, share it, add subtitle, and teach your friends and your family that Islam is nothing but the garbage. I did not mention the 72 versions, and they are transparent, and your penis will be in this, and your wife ass will be one mile, which is really so small, because we are, we are like it bigger. I mean, what's wrong with you, Allah? Can't you make it 72 miles? Why her ass is one mile? Don't I need to invite my friends to do hiking in the top of the ass of the wife? Because it's so smooth. Allah, he spent 1,000 years to smooth the skin of your wife. Why? She's an alligator. And what kind of God he created her with a very, very, very thick skin. And then he spent another 1,000 years to make her soft, soft, soft skin. How, who is the stupid here? 
And the funny they say to us, if Allah wants something to happen, he say, be. Why you need 1,000 years to, to soften the skin of one woman? One woman will take you 1,000 years. Your God, Allah is so slow. You never heard of something called Nivea, Vaseline? 1,000, I can make the concrete soft like the baby face. Buy a machine, you buy it from Home Depot. Allah need him 1,000 years to soften your skin. My friend, when a human being is stupid, his stupidity is unlimited. And that is Islam. Thank you very much for watching. Download the video, share it with your friends. We try to keep it short. And this is the shortest I can do it. Take care. And this is your brother Christian Prince sharing some information, little about Islam, the cult, the garbage of Muhammad, the filth, the terrorist. Nothing you can describe him more ugly than what he described himself. Everything we showed you is what he said. None is my words. Everything I said, I showed in the screen, and you are my witness. Nothing is my words. And if there's a Muslim here there to challenge me, to debate me, for the free, we are here every day. God bless you. I might come back again later at night, if I can. Until then, if I can, I can promise. Until then, I say, may the Lord bless you. And may the Lord protect us from the deceivers, from the liars. Doesn't matter who they are. Priest, bishop. Doesn't matter who they are. There is many, they call themselves Christians. Not everyone says to me, Lord, Lord will enter the kingdom of my father, but the one who do his will. And the will of the father is to share the truth, not to be a deceiver, not to be a liar, not to be politically correct. Those who do this, they have nothing to do with Jesus. They don't belong to Jesus. They are the enemy of Jesus. Who is the Antichrist? The Bible says, is the one who denied the father and the son. And that is Muhammad, my friend. The one who denied the father and the son, and yet the faith they say to you, Muhammad is Abrahamic. Those priests have no shame. They have nothing to do with Jesus. Don't make them fool you. They will take you to hell with them. Not to mention that Muhammad is a child molester. He married a child. He have lust for children. What a coward. What a sicko. What a disgusting person. Thank you. God bless you, and see you soon again. Bye-bye.